Welcome back to my channel everybody. Today we are making cold water lobster tails. Let's get in this video and let's get it started. You're gonna take your lobster tails out of the box and uh, get them set up on our cutting board here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. If you are not new, welcome back. Let's get this started. We're gonna try a uh, TikTok method that I saw here. Um, breaking into your lobster tails, uh, freeing them up from their shell with a spoon. So we're gonna see how that's gonna work out here, but I don't really have high hopes. Gonna grab our trusty kitchen shears here and pop these babies open. Been looking forward to making this dish for a while. Part one of this video is already up and it's my surf and turf uh, dish that you might have seen already. But now here comes the surf part of that. Gonna go ahead, take your pads of butter, press them to the side, and we're gonna work on these lobster tails. I don't get a chance to cook with lobster as often as I'd like to. I'm more of a uh, blue crab kind of guy, but you know, to each is his own. You're gonna wanna take your scissors and actually cut along both sides of your shell, of your lobster tail, right in the middle. You know, you have to have a, a firm hand because these suckers are slippery. And you're supposed to uh, go ahead and grab the lobster tail and place your spoon in between and it's supposed to just free the meat up. But, I don't know. Yeah, no. This TikTok, it's a no for me. We're going to go with a trusty true method. Again, cut your shell on both sides. just like that. And then grab your trusty knife. I like a nice uh, kitchen knife with some heft to it. And you need to put a little muscle in it, a little grit, to get them chopped down along where you've already sliced. And then you'll cut your lobster tails into two. Just like so. Look at that. And we're gonna go ahead and repeat this process one more again. Slicing on the bottom. Slice it on the top. I hope everybody's been doing wonderful this week and been having fun. We've just come off the of Super Bowl. Now it's Valentine's Day or around that time by the time you watch this video. So hopefully you're getting to spend that with some one you love and care about. Or if you just want to be fancy for yourself, let's do this. You know, you want to season your lobster tails uh, with cracked black pepper and a little Old Bay. And if you're feeling adventurous, do what you do. Why not? Add a little more. After all, it's your kitchen. You do what you want. Kiss it with a little salt. It's optional. A little Creole seasoning. Also optional. I like a little kick. I like my spice. If you don't like spice, I don't judge. Do what you do. Leave it out. Let's get it saucy up in here. Now you take a whole stick of butter. Yes, a whole stick of butter. Don't judge me. And you're gonna go ahead and melt that down. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of garlic paste, or you can add in fresh minced garlic if you'd like, and you can give that a good mince. And we're doing this over a medium heat. You don't want your butter to brown. You just want it to be nice and melted and have everything blended in together and emulsify. Add in your fresh chopped parsley. And then you're gonna throw your lobster tails in meat side down for about two to three minutes. You'll be able to tell when uh, it's ready to flip over. The tails will start to curl and the shell will turn a bright orange. I'm telling you y'all, if you could smell this kitchen right now. Mm, mm, mm. As you can see, the tails are starting to curl. It is time to flip them. Hey, flip them. Now, there you go. Just turn them over onto their shell, reduce your heat down a little more for about two to three minutes and then you'll start to uh, baste with butter and your garlic over the top to really get it donezo and delicious and wonderful. One thing you don't want to do is you don't want to overcook your lobster because you might as well be eating rubber at that point in time and nobody got time for that. 
There you go, a little butter bath, never hurt nobody. And like I've said before in other videos, if you're trying to be a bit more uh, heart healthy or you know health conscious, you can use a butter substitute. I won't judge. Your friends might, but I won't. Look at that. Uh, I could just lick the whole thing. Mm. Of course, our Instagram shot had to do that for our homies. And then you've already seen this in part uh, one of this video, but now we are in part two. Look at that goodness, y'all. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and plate up our lobster tails and I'll let you enjoy the rest of this video. Take care, have fun. Don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button and check the description box down below for full recipes and details and let me know what you're thinking about down in the comments. God bless your heart and all your parts. I can't even continue to speak, so I'm gonna see y'all next week. As always, friends, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.